Africa, the land of jungles, deserts, mining, and the driest climate, will be transformed into a modern megacity similar to the fictional state of Wakanda in the Marvel movies. People would no longer associate Africa with jungles and barren lands in the coming decades, but rather with an advanced Atlantic city. You're watching YouTube channel Let's Get Techie. In today's video, we're going to talk about Africa's insane $6 billion megacity that is planned to be constructed in the sea. So make sure to watch the video till the end, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos we upload. Getting back to the video, Akon, who is of Senegalese and American descent, is a well-known musician, rapper, and composer, has recently come to the forefront of attention with his well-known and ambitious Solar City project. This project, which is estimated to cost $6 billion, has been dubbed real-life Wakanda by many developers. Off the shore of Victoria Island, close to Lagos, Nigeria, a brand new Atlantic City is being constructed. The foundation is made of sand, similar to the iconic Palm Jumeirah in Dubai. South Energix Nigeria Limited, the project's developer, claims the area would serve as a residential, business, and financial center. The builder envisions that it will stimulate tourism and reduce congestion in Lagos. Using 91 million cubic meters of sand, the city's developers claim their finished product will be larger than Manhattan's financial district. Almost 10 million square meters in size, the area will be surrounded by a rock wall that is 8.5 kilometers in length. In addition to serving as a new financial hub, it is anticipated that 250,000 new jobs will be made available in the area. It will also serve as a retail center, home to upscale stores and eateries. The super-rich will be able to dock their luxury yachts at two huge marinas and a yacht club in the megacity. The city is being built with the help of private firms and investors, as well as the help of the state and federal governments. There is active construction of new roadways and waterways throughout the city. So that it can function autonomously, they aim to install a power plant to generate its own electricity, a water distribution system, and a sewage disposal system. The brand new city is already playing host to concerts and sporting events, even as it continues to grow and expand. The inspiration for the project, the City of Wakanda, is a creation of the Marvel Comics universe. After the release of the film featuring Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther, the idea of Afrofuturism grew in popularity and became connected with the movement. The figure of Black Panther serves as an inspiration for individuals of African descent to create their own communities and preserve their traditions while living in a more interconnected world. Akon's people frequently view him as the real-life counterpart of the hero in the Marvel Universe because of the role he has played in the construction of Akon City. Akon is well known for the philanthropic work that he has done in the past to look out for the best interests of his fellow Senegalese people. In the year 2010, he established the Confidence Foundation, a charitable organization with the mission of constructing schools and hospitals for the people of Senegal. In addition to that, there was the Light Up Africa initiative, which aimed to provide his people with access to solar electricity. His newest project, which is estimated to cost $6 billion and is called Akon City, is likewise planned to be entirely powered by solar energy. For the most part, it is being constructed for the African-American diaspora. This is being done so that the victims of institutional racism might at long last have a modern metropolis that they can call home. The architecture was designed to reflect the extensive cultural history of the Senegalese people. Hussein Bakri, the principal architect behind the project, has revealed that he drew inspiration from African sculpture in order to design the architecture of this megacity. Although a smart city is meant to be exclusive in its objective to attract an affluent population, Akon asserts that he primarily dedicates this solar city to the well-being of the Senegalese residents. Even if this is not his first endeavor to watch out for the welfare of his fellow Senegalese, it is without a doubt the most remarkable. Because of this, the architecture of Akon City is packed with cultural connotations, so it will be a blend of African culture with some modern-day inspirations. 
Not only will Akon Solar City provide for the needs of the neighborhood's residents, but it will also serve as a destination for visitors. There will be coastal resorts, retail complexes, and a variety of other tourist attractions that will have been constructed based on environmentally friendly concepts. Furthermore, this will be a significant boon to Africa's economy. According to recent research, the monthly rent for a stylish and comfortable apartment in Akon City is a significant amount less than the rent in Apple City, which is located in the state of New York. So Akon City is a dream come true for smart people who want to live in a way that is forward-looking, cheap, and good for the environment. Akon believes that his solar city will prove to be a big economic investment for the people of Senegal, and he is right up to a great extent. He is of the opinion that individuals of African descent shouldn't be forced to hanker after a smart city just because they see other groups constructing one for themselves. The construction of this megacity will also contribute to the growth of a stronger economy for the local population. By quickly expanding its divisions of infrastructure, it will result in the creation of a great number of employment positions. One of the most popular things to do in this area, for instance, is to visit Senawood, which is Akon City's very own film studio. When you contemplate the bright futures that are possible for Senegalese youngsters if they become part of this business, the prospects for their future no longer appear to be as gloomy as they once were. There will also be an information technology industry, or a technology cluster, that provides more job possibilities. It will have its own educational facilities as well as its own health care system. Akon's plan to introduce a digital currency to the people living in Akon City is without a doubt the most audacious step he's taken toward unleashing the economic potential of his people. The name that will be given to this digital currency is Acoin. In spite of the fact that Akon City is a unique and extremely ambitious endeavor to reproduce real-life Wakanda, it has also been subjected to a significant amount of criticism from a variety of sources throughout time. The goal of Akon to establish his own autonomous economy through the use of the cryptocurrency Acoin has been criticized by a number of experts as being impractical. This is due to the fact that a significant portion of the population in Senegal does not have the financial means to purchase cell phones. The fact that Akon did not recruit West African architects to realize his dream has also been the subject of debate among architects and other professionals. The people of West Africa have not yet reached the point where they are certain that they are the driving force behind the economy in this megacity and are not only considered to be manual workers. There have been worries about how jobs would be spread out in this solar metropolis. This enormous structure encompasses more than 100 hectares of land in total. On the other hand, the climate of Africa is already notorious for being arid and hot. Some people have said that the style of architecture that was used to build buildings in this area and meet the needs of the climate was not the best choice. Last but not least, the big visionary undertaking is worthy of all the grandeur and attention it is receiving, notwithstanding the criticism that has been leveled against it. Akon also claimed that this city will be dedicated to Chadwick Boseman, who passed away not too long ago, by creating a monument to Black Panther as a tribute to the actor. That's all for today's video, guys. What did you think of today's video? Tell us your views in the comments section. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. See you in the next video. Until then, best wishes.